Happy vlog 57! 57 weeks, 57 weeks we've been together for 57 weeks, 57, the big five seven. Mm -hmm. Mm. My period has finished a three day period, who that? Today I'm trying to organise this room a bit more. I feel like I've got no space just to like lay anything down. Even just to put down this camera, I had so many things that I had to like put away over there. All this stuff was just everywhere. I'm going to be making a box of things that I really want to keep for my future home. I'm manifesting, I've been manifesting this since I was yee high girl. I've always wanted my own house and one day that dream will happen. I will have my house. Words of affirmation. I will get my dream house this year. Please, someone listen to me. I just know in my future house, I really want to start lighting candles. I feel like I don't want to waste it on this house. Do you know what I mean? I want to wait until my dream house and then I'll light my first ever bougie candles. Let me just show you how many candles I have collated. Collated? Collected? Califragidisilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalilalil
because I hate wearing bras, love wearing nipple covers, but I'm really particular about what ones I get. So these have been the ones that I've been wearing all the time. I have a Miss Lola haul coming up and my God, the nipple covers that I wore were black. So they kept popping out every two seconds. This is the one that I normally go for. I really like these because they make your boob really flat. The only thing that I don't like about them is that they're bigger than like the conventional nipple covers. I got these in like a pack of 12. They also come in like circle ones as well, but I don't recommend the circle ones because they are huge. Look how flat these nipple covers are. I find sometimes that the chicken fillet nipple covers, you know those like seafood jelly ones, they give like a kind of hump and then sometimes in certain lighting it looks like you have a massive areola, which obviously no one wants. We just want our nipples to be covered, okay? We don't want to enhance the nipple shape even more. They're actually reusable. A lot of these flat sticker ones, they are more disposable ones. You wear them once, you throw them away, which is so wasteful. But these are like a fabric material. They're super, super sticky. You just need to keep these paper bits so you can re-stick it. But I like the fact that this nipple bit hasn't got stickiness on it because, oh my God, I've worn nipple covers before where it's sticky the whole way through. And when you're ripping it off, it's like, ah! And then also while I was browsing at nipple covers, I was like, let me see what else is out there. I also bought these, which I like the fact that it came in a case and had really, really high reviews. So in here you get about six pairs. These are more of like the silicone plasticky ones. I don't know why these are so pink. I normally get ones that are like a bit more like nudie covers. If you've got nipples like this, pat yourself on the back because mine are like dark chocolate nipples. These are really nice because they're actually really thin compared to the nipple covers that I normally buy from Primark. I also like the fact that it's got this bit here, which means that the actual nipple pointy out bit won't be sticky, so that when you remove it again, it'll be less painful. No one wants to like wax off their nipple, you know? Just to show you a comparison of these nipple covers, you guys see this one is a bit bigger, so sometimes it peeps through a little bit more. Wow, my eyes are so hooded. Look how hooded my eyes look in the sheet mask. Not me having surgery and then still getting hooded lids. No, no thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's eight o'clock now, and I just finished work and I've had quite like a, a rough day, let's just say. I don't know why guys, I keep going through these really weird roller coaster waves of emotion. Sometimes I feel so motivated and then other times I feel like so much anxiety and so much uncertainty with the world. It's just so hard to stay positive. If you're feeling like this currently, I'm with you girl, I am here. I got like a really horrible DM today and it's just been staying on my mind all day. She basically just said that you've been so annoying on your stories recently you're always upset and you're also negative why can't you just be normal and just appreciate what you have and it's just like that's the last thing that I ever want anyone to think that I'm unappreciative you know I try to be as real as possible and try to tell you guys literally like how I'm feeling and not fake everything and pretend everything's fine and normal and handy dandy if that comes across like I'm not being grateful I'm so sorry I never want anyone to ever think that about me now I feel like oh, I can't be myself on my socials I always have to put this front like everything's happy and perfect sometimes you just feel like you're just never good enough and it's just so annoying anyways enough about that I'm gonna make myself feel a bit better by pampering myself today I want to do like a face mask I want to soak off my nails and I'm gonna have a nice shower wash my hair and tomorrow I'm gonna put on some makeup make myself feel good about myself again and you know keep Keep the ball rolling. Keep it pushing, you know, don't let the hate get to you. So that's what I encourage everyone to do, you know, whenever you're feeling a bit down. I know for me, whenever I glam myself up and, you know, put my makeup, do my hair, even get dressed, I feel like, oh, I'm me again, you know. It gives me that kind of, like, feeling of, like, normality and that's the only thing that I can control right now, you know. So anyways, I'm trying to get rid of my gel, so I have to do this all DIY at home, like, I'm sure the rest of us. My hair is growing out. I need a haircut. I've got greys coming out of my asshole, literally. I've literally just buffed the top section of my gels. They look very dry and crusty now. So I'm gonna put on a face mask. I'm gonna go for this one today. This is the Origins Out of Trouble mask. I feel like my tan from Dubai is literally rubbing away. Like every single time I use a toner, I feel like my dead skin around my nose is like flaking off. This is a really good mask for when you have a lot of dry, dead skin. It has sulfur in there, so that helps all the loose skin kind of like flake away. I try to do these self-caring sessions at least once a week. Mainly whenever I know I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm like, all right, 
Today's hair wash day. That's when you know it's time to get down with a get down, you know? If anyone has like super long, thick hair, you guys will know the struggle of like washing your hair. It's a whole commitment, okay? It's a whole evening. You know when movies say, I'm so sorry, I can't make it tonight because I'm washing my hair? It's a real situation, guys. Washing your hair is like, you can't just do it any old time, you know? Okay, it's time to soak my nails now. I'm using this soak off gel remover. It's from a brand called Daisy. I think I got this from a nail supply store. When you're Vietnamese, you know where all the nail supplies are. How ratchet is this? So I'm literally using this bowl, which is from a Ferrero Rocher box. And I'm just putting in some of this acetone. It literally stinks. Imagine if you drank this by accident one day. Oh! I'm gonna soak my nails in here. And I'm actually listening to an audiobook at the moment. It's called Blow My Way to the Top by Jen Atkin. She's the owner of Way Hair Care and I love her stuff so much. I just listened to the sample and it sounded really good. You guys know that currently I'm trying to make my own brand and have that vision for myself. She also talks about money management and all that kind of good stuff. If you're interested, I would love for you guys to listen along with me and we can chat in the comments together. This is what my nails look like after 10 minutes of soaking. Can you guys see? I feel like I'm doing an Instagram video. I'm literally using a old crusty tweezer, scraping off the gel. The struggle is so real. Five hours later, the nails are fresh. And I'm actually gonna put on some press on nails as well because tomorrow I wanna look like a bad bitch. And I can't be looking like a bad bitch if my nails are all crusty and short like this. So I'm gonna go for a set of press on nails. This is actually made from a small Instagram brand called LX Lou. If you guys are looking for press on nails definitely check them out they're so talented i think i'm gonna go for this set which is like a super nice ombre mm. and here we have the nails they actually look so cute oh i miss having long nails so much as soon as you have long nails you just feel like that bitch you feel like cardi b you feel like you need to talk like this do you know what i only just realized in 2020 that acrylic nails means it's acrylic aka plastic i was that dumbass that put acetone inside of a plastic container and look what it done to it so this is just gonna go in the bin yes i was using it as a storage box before but not anymore apparently hello vlog by the way guys have you noticed guys trying to grow a beard look at my prophetic beard <laughs> and i've had enough can't get a haircut, not gonna cut anything now. Gonna have a hairy crack too. The crack has always been hairy since 2009. Do you like it, guys? <laughs> what? I've got live, babe. Silky smooth. Do you like my nails, babe? The bad bitches back. Bad bitches only. Bad bitches only. Our vlog's been so dry. We haven't done nice. So dry, guys. Honestly, trying to think of things to do for the vlog has been so hard, aka. We've been doing nothing. Okay, that's why the vlogs and the views have been so shit on my channel, but you know. This lockdown's been so dry. So dry, and it's not even stopping as well. We've still got another month of this shit. And baby, it's your birthday month as well. Greg's big 30th month is on the 19th of February. So if you guys want to send any packages his 30th way. 30th month. 30th month. <laughs> Greg's 30th birthday is on the 19th of February, guys. Can you believe this guy? He's going to be halfway throughout his life now. Well, you're not going to die at 60. Halfway throughout. Caught away throughout his life now. Are you going to have a midlife crisis? The big free oh, what have I done with my life? I think that's how I would feel. Look back on my life and... See all the accomplishments I ticked off. Have you ticked anything off? Nope. I think for any other birthday, it'll be like, oh, who cares? But for your 30th birthday, guys, that's a big number. You know, it's always the sweet 16 or your 18th birthday. And you're always going to remember this birthday. Why is 30 such a, a big thing? Because it's like your 20s is that like when you're meant to go have your fun and you're meant to travel. And now your 30s is time to settle down. That's when people start to go and have kids now. Some people get married in their 20s and then the 30s, like your kids, your house. That's when you're meant to be stable. You're meant to have your roots in the ground now. And we just like are all over the place. I feel old and crippled. My bones are breaking. You did say your back was hurting you the other day. <laughs> yeah. Tweed will offer a massage, actually. A massage? I'll give you a massage. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. The lights are on today. That means it's a new filming day today. I was saying yesterday how much I looked like a crusty bitch, but I don't know why. As soon as you have nails on, you're just like, ooh. <laughs> Feeling yourself, I'm feeling myself, feeling myself. <laughs> Today I'm gonna try to like curl my hair, put on some nice glam. I think I'm gonna do something for like Valentine's Day that's coming up. So hopefully in the next clip you guys will see me with some nice voluminous bouncy hair with, with a nice beat of makeup on. So let's find out in three, two, one. Hello, who is she? I can't believe I remembered to say one. 
I'm so proud of myself, pat on the back. I literally just filmed my second episode in my series Tweed Test. I just filmed a misguided beauty testing video. Is it worth it? Mm. Hmm. I am so stupid. So basically I was filming a YouTube video today. I filmed a couple of TikToks and I also have to film a Reels for Maybelline and I totally forgot to film it. So now I'm going to have to take off all this makeup and redo that video. And I also need to film a fashion overhaul and I also have a Gucci mask class right now as well. So it's a lot going on. I feel like an octopus with like 800 million arms. We're going to go to the Gucci mask class now and I'll bring you guys along with me. How cute is this little ring light by the way? Look how baby it is like a tiny little halo i see a halo 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 this is where coronavirus has left us it's all online now hi everyone thomas de Cliver here global makeup artist oh okay i've got my gucci beauty right here do you guys want to see a review on this there's so many new products coming out at the moment there's a new morphe foundation gucci just launched a foundation miss guy has launched a foundation huda beauty there's just so much going on i cannot believe how hd this is for a live video you guys know normally lives is so laggy the internet connection is very aol look at her skin texture it's amazing it's so clear and i can't believe this is live right now guys i just finished the gucci mask class it was so so cool i still can't believe i get invited to these events that are like so exclusive you know it feels so crazy i do have the gucci foundation here so let me know do you guys want me to film a review on the foundation okay guys so bit of tmi you guys know that i put on some new press on nails and i have not had long nails in a good month or two it feels like before i was like oh my nails never get in the way i was so used to them but now that i have long nails again i'm like oh i can't even type properly i can't pick things up properly like, even when it comes to wiping my ass if you girls have ever had long nails before i'm pretty sure people always ask you how do you wipe your bum and i always thought that's such a weird question because it's like no one is going in their bum crack like this I know I ain't anyways, I have tissue to protect my fingers, you know what I mean? So I always thought that was such a weird question, but yesterday I dropped the kids off at the pool, you know what I'm saying? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I went to go wipe my ass and I was like, oh, this is a bit harder. Like you have to be really careful because my fingernail was like ripping the tissue. I was scared I was going to get shit underneath my fingernails. It was like a real situation. <laughs> anyways, I need to take off all my makeup now. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for tuning in on this vlog. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm trying to do this new thing where I'm making my videos a bit shorter now. I just want to make my videos quicker, snappier. I feel like longer videos don't work as well, unfortunately, for my channel, which is fine. I have to face the music one day, okay? I need to find out what you guys like and what you don't like. And apparently people don't like longer videos because no one seems to click on them. That's fine. My feelings are not hurt. <laughs> while I cry in the corner. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means so much to me that anyone watches any of my vlogs, watches any of the ads, comments down below. Like, it means so much to me, honestly. When people say that I never ever comment, but I just want to show you some support, I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> you just want to plug at my heartstrings. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fuck's sake, guy, you, you coughing little bitch. Oh my god, everyone. Oh my god, Yo, it's too low. You might see a nipple pop out. Okay, so I'm gonna go from crusty musty to hopefully what rise of musty. I don't have no jokes today, damn it. Trash to fab. That's so lame. Cringe. So let's find out in three, two. In the next clip, hopefully, I say one. But I know I'm gonna forget. Would it light up again? Hello? It's all finished now. I'm gonna beat Grang up in a second. Also, side note, remember when I told you guys, oh, I'm going to learn how to use a curling iron. I'm going to master it today. I fucking burnt my face twice. Can you guys see this patch here? That is a patch of burnt skin. And there's also a patch here as well. I burnt myself trying to learn how to use a curling iron. I think that's God's way of telling me, girl, just leave your hair in the bun. Stop trying to be someone you're not. Ah!